always look, I want to talk about optimizing resources. And, and this really comes around both a technology and an economics conversation. Um, I sometimes, uh, sometimes folks say, oh, you know, the, the technologists don't want to talk about economics. And I'm like, actually, I think they do, right? I tend to look at technologists as people who want to understand the details behind um, behind anything, whether it's technology or whether it's, you know, a, a cost model. And so I've been sharing with you a number of capabilities around FlashStack and the simplicity that it provides, the, the level of integration, um, some of the, the gains that we have that's just not possible compared to an HCI architecture. And so I wanted to just put you put up a, com a, a comparison here with um, what we see as a, as a leading VCF competitor for us, which is Dell's VX Rail. Um, and apologies here in advance. I'm not trying to bash anybody, but I did want to make a substantive conversation. Um, when we use um, public sizing tools uh, and whatnot, what you find is when you try to put the same workload, and in this example here, it's it's 500 VMs, and it's a mix between some generic tier two VSIs, um, some database, uh, transactional database virtual machines. What you find is a significant reduction in the overall infrastructure components required and the total cost of the infrastructure underneath VCF. Um, what you find is, is up to 25% less compute is required um, with FlashDeck compared to VxRail. That's because um, as you add data services, uh, the amount of compute resources, both, both CPU and memory, increase in a, in a VxRail deployment. Um, there's, there's a kind of a notion that we, we commonly hear, which is, oh, a VxRail only consumes less than 5% CPU to provide storage services. And that's true, but it's the floor and not the ceiling. So as you go from a single copy of data up to multiple FTTTs, uh, as you add erasure coding, data reduction, checksums, snapshots, replication, data at rest encryption, et cetera, right, you start to get towards 25%. In addition, when you look at it from a storage perspective, um, not only does the flash array have the industry leading data reduction capabilities, but it actually has significantly less overheads. All storage platforms have overheads in terms of system space and RAID, et cetera. But when you combine the global data reduction and the 512 byte granularity uh, and the multiple um, 512 byte granularity within our, our data reduction, our sliding data reduction windows, the multiple compression algorithms that are inside, along with a 16%, roughly 16% RAID overhead, it flies a little bit based on the size of the RAID group, uh, and the 10% system space compared to a shared nothing architecture like Dell VX Rail, where your data reduction is, is a fixed 4K, it's only um, uh, on a disk group per host, you've got a 33% RAID overhead with RAID 6, a 30% slack space and a 10% cache capacity, right? What you net out is about 75% less raw storage required to support the same capacity of virtual machines. So you combine the, the compute and the storage savings together and you get about 50% less rack space and about 30% less required for this architecture. By being able to optimize this infrastructure, it makes it more affordable both from a data center footprint and cost of rack unit perspective. It may also makes it more affordable from a number of, of, of um, uh, rack uh, network ports required and ultimately, uh, look, you know, we sell VCF in, in partnership with VMware. It also helps customers adopt more of the VMware software technologies because you know, budgets are fixed, right? And so as they want to sort through their budget, we help them afford the adoption uh, and, and modernization of their vSphere environment as they upgrade to VCF. Now, I would be remiss uh, if I didn't share with you. Obviously, we, we offer two forms of storage subscriptions. Uh, our, oops. Sorry about that. We have our, our uh, evergreen storage, which is our CapEx model, where um, you are able to acquire storage. We are going to put a guarantee around the, the data reduction that you will receive. You get um, non-disruptive upgrades, new software features as they are released, um, no data migration, uh, uh, even as you go through different hardware generations and as you renew that subscription, um, uh, you will have a flat, flat rate around maintenance. We also have an OPEX model called Pure as a Service, which is a very fast growing portion of our business, which is a utility, which is a pay per use gigabyte model based on starting at a 12 month uh, commitment and a 50 terabyte footprint. And then you pay above that as your usage goes up and down. 
contain, contains the same benefits around new feature rollouts and non-disruptive uh, hardware upgrades as a part of that uh, utility offering. So with that, I want to summarize that VMware Cloud Foundation on Pure Storage Flash Stack provides five core values in, in cloud, providing cloud-like agility, fabric flexibility, the simplest management. Uh, we've modernized and protected infrastructure, and we obviously ultimately optimize the resources. 